So uh, we're continuing our trigonometry notes. If you were not here yesterday, I'm going to teach you this real quick on the warm-up. So who was not here yesterday? Everyone else was here, or if you were super late and you missed it, you got to pay attention closely here, okay? So, uh, yeah. What it means is S T and T are these words. So it's prime, cosine, and cosine. And they're just fractions. Sine is opposite, opposite over and over and T cosine is adjacent over and over and tangent is opposite over and over. Now, I only know you need to know. I told you this way before. So that's why I have to use the time to warm up. So again, this is fun. What is doing is funny for us. What can the arc say? Okay. So check it out. Little arc here at letter D. Okay. Now, from that arc, you're going to label O opposite and then the hypotenuse and then the adjacent, right? If you've got a phone in your hand, you should focus. Okay. From letter D, what is my opposite side? What do y'all think? What? True. Thank you. What is opposite from letter D? What number? 24. Here's how you know. If you draw right through the middle, that's your opposite side, okay? You gotta be, be able to label OHA, okay? Now, H is where? It's still frozen, sorry. Okay, cool. Uh, it, what is it? 26, because H is always across from 90, right? So across from 90, put an H there. We got O, H, and then A is the leftover one, okay? A means adjacent, means next to something. H means hypotenuse, across from 90. O is opposite, across from or opposite from the original angle, which in this case was letter D, okay? Now, if I have... O is what? 24 over. 26, right? Is everyone clear on that? You have to label OHA and then give me the fraction. So S is O over H, 24 over 26. You could either type it in your calculator or if you know, they're both even. They both divide by 2 and you get 12 over 13. Okay, so that's sine, S-I-N, sine is how you say it. Then we have the second one, it says C-O-S, cos, but it's actually pronounced cosine D. Okay, cosine of letter D is ka, don't say it twice. Ha uh ha, -huh. all right, well anyways, ka is A over H, right? What's A over H? What's labeled as A? 10, and then over 26. There you go. So 10 over 26 is A over H. Tap it in. It'll reduce it for you. You get 5 over 13. That's it. Okay. Then we have 10. Letter D. 10 is O over A. O over A. What's O and what's A? Okay. 24 over 10. Again, because I labeled it, I know what each of these are. 24 over 10 reduces to 12 over 5, okay? Now, that was the quick version of a big part of the notes yesterday. So everyone needs your notes on your desk with a yellow calculator. We're going to keep working on uh, finishing that. I think we were on number 7. Let's see here.
just looks weird. Oh well. All right, so here we are, number seven, eight, and nine. Okay. I cannot write on it for some reason. Cool. Well, anyways, here we are, number seven, eight, and nine. Let me make that big and then and then you should be looking at your calculator and then you have this right here So here's what we're going to do. Press 5. And then two for document settings. And then look at that second row. If it's an angle degree, you're good. And more than likely, you're already in degrees mode, OK? But let me tell you, if someone messes this up or whatever, OK? Someone never changed it. If it's on radians, when you type in it, it's right in the middle, OK? So there's a point where you have to be angle degree mode, OK? So degree mode. Go ahead and press a new document and do not save. What did I do? Try that again. New document, do not save. Okay. So is everyone at a three point three calculator point? I'm doing this because I want to be able to press these buttons. Big. And I don't know why it does that. Stop doing that. Okay. So trig. Sign, and then type 30. You don't have to put a degree sign. Just sign 30. Hit enter. You should get. All right, so that's our answer. Isn't that easy? Just type it in. So let's write that down. Zero point five. Well, you can probably do number eight and nine real quick too. Number eight, tangent of forty-five. Let's type that in. Trig. Whoops. Fly. Trig. Tan. Forty-five. Enter. I don't want number nine cosine of sixty trig cosine sixty enter. You, these numbers are going to be between negative one and positive one. Okay, they're small numbers. Cool. So is everyone able to type in trig? Okay, that's that's what you got to know. So if you were not here yesterday, okay, this is kind of a a quick glance at this. I'm not going to speed this up here because you can get a copy of this later or get it off the Google Classroom. Here's what we're moving to today. Look at the bottom. Okay.
Well, let's remember, it's Sokotoa, right? Now, this is how I like to write it because it's a fraction. S, O over H, C, A over H, T over A. Sokotoa. Now, what do you think? Find one over one. We're participating every day over H. Now, here's the dealio. I'm going to give you 30 seconds to label O, H, and A on the first line. Y'all are here, you gotta grab your own stuff. Everyone has this sheet, right? You know, please grab it. Please, please, please. Real quick, because O is X, right? See, that's how I know. Look, I start at 55. I go straight across. That's my O. Okay, and then I got. 90 across the 90 of my H, and then my leftover is A. You got to be able to label O, H, A every time, okay? I can't even label anything for A because there's nothing there. So. If it was for A, I would have done Same deal. I have to O, I have to H, I'm going to do O, I'm going to do sign. Everybody write this with me. Okay. We're going to write sign. Then you're going to put parentheses because we're going to put an angle in there. Okay. Sign. And what's the angle I started at? 55 on the inside, right? So sign, parentheses, 55, parentheses. Okay. So you always write trig angle equals. And it's going to be what over what? So sine is O over H. What's O? What's H? What am I going to write? X 
phone for 25.5. Okay, so everyone, I pick the trig based on what I have, I put the angle, I put equals, and then I write the fraction, okay? That's how you do these. So if you can set it up, you're almost there. Once you set it up like this, you have like one or two more steps and you're done, okay? Now, Times 25.5 here, and then times 25.5 here. X is on top. I multiply on both sides. On the right side, those uh, the dividing and the multiplying cancel out. Now I'm going to rewrite it with X on the left. So X equals sine 55 times 25.5. Okay. Now that it's x equals, now I can use my calculator and type this in. So let's go ahead and do that. Everybody type this with me. That way you get practice. You know what you're typing, right? On your calculator. Thank you. So here we go. Sine 55. I'm going to hit trig sine 55. Then you need to go to the right. You need to get outside of the parentheses and put times 25.5. Okay, make sure you type this just like that. You can go ahead and press enter. Sine 55 times 25.5. And you should get this. Now, we're going to round this always to the hundredths place, which is two decimal places. This eight, where is it? Oops. Does this eight right here make the eight next to it? So that would be eight over four point nine five. Okay. So we're gonna write twenty point eight nine. Okay. There we go. Twenty point eight nine. And last little cherry on top. What are the units of measure? Centimeters, so make sure you write centimeters. Okay. All right, here we go. So across from, what's my starting angle? 60. 60 is labeled. You never start at 90. The other one's not labeled. Okay, so at 60, here's my O. Across from 90 is my H. And then my leftover is A. Which one has nothing? Which one do I get rid of? A is blank. So cross out your A. I don't need that in my life right now. Okay. Cool. So O H and no A. Uh, o H. Is that subtail or tail? Yeah. All right. So here we go. Sign and then parentheses. What's the angle? Sine 60 equals, so trig angle equals what over what?
Now check it out. It's O over H, right? What's O? 10 and H on the bottom is going to be X. My pen is not writing. I ran out of ink. Uh, uh. Oh, there was ink. So, O over H is what over what? O is 10 over H is X. 10 over X. Okay. Good. Now, how is this one different? You can take this right here and the X and you can switch places. That's it. X on the left equals 10 stays on top. Okay, so 10 divided by and then sine 60 on the bottom. All right, here we go. I'm going to type 10 divided and then string sine 60. Cool. You could also press control divide to make it a big fraction bar. It doesn't matter either way. Everyone's type that in. Once you type it in, you hit enter. And we get 11.547. Now, does that 7 make the 4 round up or stay the same? 7 makes it round up. So it's 11.55, okay? What are my units of measure? Kilometers. That's a very big triangle, okay? Okay, y'all can flip it over. And I'll leave it right there for you. So, y'all can... Flip it over. I'll give you one Anyone stuck on the label OHA? You label OHA and cross out the ones you don't need. So it's not the answer. Everyone's labeling OHA on all four triangles. And cross out the ones you don't need, right? I'm going to do these real quick. If you haven't already, or if you want to check, 
On the first one, they gave me 55. So a cross of 55 is my O. A cross of 90 is my H. And my N. Which one do I not need? Actually, A has an X. H has a number. Which one has nothing? Oh, just my O. I don't need you. Uh, same thing on the next one. 65 is my angle, so label O, H, and A. Which one do I not need? O. Let's fill in this top box. Cosine. Cos. Cosine is what over what? Let's remember. So, Katoa. So what should I put in this box? What over what? What's cosine? A over H, right? Adjacent over hypotenuse. Okay, now remember, the most common question is Based on the size you have, you have. So let's go ahead and write C for cosine. Here we go. Cosine, what's my angle? Anybody, what's my angle? 55? Yeah. Cosine 55 equals what over what? A over H is X over 25.5. Very good. Now, remember from the front page, if I need to get X by itself and it's being divided, what's the opposite of dividing? Multiplying. So let's write that on both sides. Times 25.5 times 25.5. Okay. Okay. When you multiply it on both sides, it cancels out on the right side. And now I can rewrite this as x equals cosine 55 times 25.5. Can you type that in your calculator? So let's take that over here and type it in. Oh my gosh. All right, here we go. So cosine 55. So trig cosine, cosine 55, go to the right, times 25.5. Once you type that in, hit enter, and you'll get your answer. You just got to round it two decimal places. I get 14.626. Now, does that third si the this six right here, does that make it round up or stay the same? So five and greater makes it round up. So six is greater than five, so it'll be rounding up. So 14.63, okay? What are my units of measure? Centimeters, thank you very much, okay? Uh, on the next one, I already labeled it OHA, and if I only have A and H, I know that's going to be cosine. AH is ka, C for cosine, okay? Let's go ahead and write that down, okay? So cosine, what's my angle? Sixty-five. So you put the trig, then the angle then the equals, and then you have a fraction, A over H. So what goes on top? What's A? 21 over X. Now, we've done this before, okay? If you were out of the room,
So cosine 65 is going to switcheroo with that x because it's on the bottom. Bottom is the switcheroo, right? Let's rewrite it. x equals 21 over cosine 65. And now we're ready to put it in the calculator, right? Now, I'm going to type it in, 21, and go ahead and try control divide. You can make it into a big fraction, cosine 65. That's one way to type it in. Is 49.690. Number that's not going to round it up, so we'll keep it the same. Okay, so we have 49.69 for our answer, and my units of measure are miles. That's a very big triangle. Okay, okay. The box tan is O over A, right? Why do I cross out the H? Because there's nothing there, right? I label O, H, and A. Why do I, I'm going to cross out H because there's nothing there, okay? So remember, so Katoa, if I only have OA, that's going to be tan, T for tangent, okay? All right, so I'm going to set this up. OA is tan, so I'm going to put tan. What's my angle? Fifty-eight. Tan fifty-eight equals O over A. What over what? X is my O. Nine is my A. And since x is on top, it's being divided, I'm going to do the opposite. I'm going to multiply it. Oh, that's me. Whoops. Squeaky chair or squeaky stool. All right, so times 9 times 9. Oh. Miss Marshall, can you take her stuff to the clinic? Sorry. Or we can send a student in a minute, but they asked for it. Um, okay, so now we're going to write this out. X equals 1058 times 9. No problem. Okay, so here we go. 10, 58, go to the right, times 9. I got 14.403. Does the 3 make the 0 go up or stay the same? What do you think? Stays the same. Very good. So 14.40 should be just 14.4, and the units of measure are millimeters. One more, and then you go, or no? Unless you got a dire emergency, you know? All right, well, last one real quick. OA has to be TOA. It's tan. So tan, what's my angle? 24. And that equals O over A, which is 41 over X. What's the shortcut when X is on the bottom? Take the trig and the bottom and switcheroo. That's the trick, right? So 
this and this can switch a root. So x equals 41 over tan 24. If I could type that in, I'll get my answer. 41 divided by tan 24. 92.087 makes the 8 go up to 92.09. Now, I did that a little bit faster because we've done a bunch of examples already. Okay? I think everyone gets the idea. So I'm going to pass out the assignment. I know we don't have a lot of time, so, but you can try to start. The first one is just labeling OHA, and that's easy. You can already do that. What's up?